Hi guys, Steph here. Right, okay, so another pen from a recent pen haul. Um, for you people that watch on a regular basis, you would have seen this pen here. There we go. Comes in a box, interesting looking pen. Just needs a bit of TLC, bits of working on. And here's that same pen in question. You can see it comes in, I believe, to be the original box. The sides there are actually ripped. So whether it actually contains some information we could have done with, I don't know. Because the only thing it says on the, on the box is the self-filling fountain pen fitted with a 14 karat gold nib, best English make. But there's no manufacturer's sort of name on the box. So let's take the pen out. Let's pop the box to one side and here's the pen after a little bit of TLC, a little bit of work etc and it's in absolutely gorgeous condition. You can see it's got this lovely sort of engine turn pattern on it there. Oops, there we go, let's show you. There you go, hopefully you can see the, the pattern. It's got a small cap to the bottom and it's got this quite a large cap to the to the back of the pen as well why we'll show you in a moment now as far as I'm concerned what pen is it there's no name on it there's no name anywhere no manufacturers make anything like that did a little bit of homework what I'm actually believe well I believe this pen is the WH Smith self-filling fountain pen who's WH Smith nice and simple it's a retailer stationers etc from way back that believe it or not are still well they're still around in the UK at the moment you can still go into a WH Smith's in your local town so although this pen I believe to be from very very early 1900s maybe around about the 1906 um, as I say, WH Smith as a company are still going strong. Um, so yeah, it's the WH Smith self-filling pen. It's what we term as a syringe filler, which we'll show you in a moment. It's quite a long pen. As it is now, caps, etc., it's around about 152 millimeters capped. Around the diameter, it's 10 millimeters in diameter as we said yeah made i'm saying very early 1900s but who actually made it now again did a little bit of homework and what i've actually read is that this pen may have actually been supplied not only to wh smith it was them it was them days where there was lots of pen manufacturers you know small people people we've not heard of that were making pens sometimes for major manufacturers of the period um but this one i believe was bought these pens were bought in maybe by conway stewart and supplied to the retail trade and again in this case to wh smith but where did they actually buy them from i believe they bought them from a company called george shand limited who later on were actually bought out by the dual pen company limited yes very complicated so bought by conway stewart from george shand limited in london who were a company that later were bought out by the dual pen company all gets very very complicated but as i said in that particular period you know there was little pen manufacturers making pens for other people who put their name on it etc so as far as i'm aware that's who made it who it was supplied from and to so as we said it's what we term well first of all let's take the cap off let's show you the pen in a couple of different different angles as we said it's got this lovely engine turn pattern 
to the barrel and if we take it up to this section quite a small section and if you look there it's got quite a small small nib but the interesting thing about it it's got what we term as an over and under feed there we go okay so quite a small nib now when I actually took it apart to clean everything the only thing or the only imprint on the nib is quite simply just 14 carat so it's indicating that it's a 14 carat gold nib but once again there's no manufacturer's name on the nib now if we take take this back cap off here there you go you can see the pen there it's got this little knob here and as we said earlier it's what we term as a syringe filler self-explanatory just like the doctor would have or the nurse it's a syringe filler a little bit on the stiff side because we've put a new new washer inside now what I did I actually took the pen apart and here you go here you can see the parts as they are so as you can see I fully disassembled the pen um, everything has been thoroughly cleaned the feed there I've actually adjusted it slightly so it's touching both sides the under and over feed we've got the nib as you can see there quite a small nib and the important part is the sort of piston if you like inside and there we go what it had was an old um, an old cork washer which had actually crumpled deteriorated and in this particular case what I've actually done um, as opposed to in some cases I use rubber o-rings I've actually used a rubber grommet the grommet basically for you people that don't know are used for um, putting sort of wiring if you like through metal and they use the use a grommet to stop the wiring sort of snagging so I bought these grommets you can see I've used a spacer just below there okay so it's nice and sturdy and what I've also done is actually sanded this uh, rubber grommet to fit inside inside the barrel and then what we'll do we'll grease it up with silicon grease uh, install it back into the into the pen and then we'll test it and hopefully fingers crossed everything will be in working order okay so as I said we've put this sort of rubber washer or seal inside and when we actually tested the suction the suction is absolutely excellent as I said it's just a little bit on the stiff side because well as you'd expect because it's quite a new seal inside but the question is does it work? it'd be interesting to see this is the first time I've tested the pen now these pens do tend to blob a lot um, that was just one of the things about these pens but let's pop it in the ink pull the plunger up give it a couple of seconds let's wipe it and then what I'm going to do I'm going to well as you can see I've pulled the syringe plunger all the way out I'm now going to push it in slightly says he oops a little bit too much but that'll do just to get rid of any air inside you can see there it's smaller and that's the reason let's move the ink that's the reason why we've got this long cap to the end because when you pull out the syringe obviously you need a long cap to to cover it like so so let's keep our fingers crossed there we go as I said you know the pens in this particular area especially with these over and under feeds they were a little bit well they had a sort of mind of their own if you like and yeah they do tend to sort of blob so what we're going to do let's just simply test it so what we've got is um, the 
W. H. Smith, um, self self filling pen. Um, as we said, I'm dating it sort of around about the 1906. I would assume it's made made in England and it's actually writing quite nice and as you can see we're not getting any blobs because I think you've got to be careful with these pens you've got to take some of the air out of the barrel and in that case you know sometimes you can be very lucky and up to now yes we are I think it's it's absolutely fine does it have any flex if it does very little I mean there we go. As I'm pressing down, I'm getting a little bit of railroading, but I don't want to press too too hard. But a very nice writer. I'm actually quite surprised. It's writing very nicely indeed. Writing, I would say, with a fine, maybe to medium line, little bit of variation. I don't want to press down too much, but all in all, a lovely writer. And the main thing about it, as we've just mentioned, it's now in full working order. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take the cap off, put the ink back into the ink bottle... Wow, I'm sure you could hear that then. In fact, it went in so hard. I've got, I've got ink everywhere. <laughs> so let me dab that ink there. And just to try and show you how it actually works, let's bring on some water. And you can see the plunger is all the way down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is pull that out. There we go. So we've plunge, pulled the plunger all the way out. And as I say, it's self-explanatory as a syringe filler. So if I push it all the way back in now. Look at that. Let's do that again. So pull the plunger all the way out. There you go. All the way out. Let's push it all the way back home again. And let's just do that one more time. Pull the plunger all the way out, as it is there, and then push it all the way back in again. Excellent. So as you can see, it's in full working order. The seal is absolutely lovely inside. And again, because I use the, you know, the grommet instead of an O-ring, I feel it's made a better because you've got two two areas of contact inside with the rubber against against the barrel inside so yeah it works for me so there we have it a very interesting fountain pen the W H Smith self-filling fountain pen with a gold nib and what we'll do We'll try and find a new home for the pen. So if anybody's interested, down below there, get in touch. But for now, from this pen, and from me, I'm going to say Slavo Ukraini. And for now, I'm just going to say bye-bye for now.